Well, this is uh, my new beer, my new official beer of the barn building. It's called Fat Tire, Colorado beer. And I've actually taken and put uh, five or six beers within the foundation of the barn. So somebody a uh, hundred years from now will find them and be really tickled. Everything's going really, really good. I got the two uh, main floors pretty much done. And I got the uh, two uh, inner walls for the upper story done. Plus I got the, uh, this, I guess you'd call them joists done so far. So that's looking pretty good. And uh, it rained all freaking day. I only was able to work a couple hours this morning, a couple hours tonight, but there's water and mud everywhere. And uh, my poor barn is just soaked on the inside. I really feel bad, but uh, I've been trying to keep my wood covered up and everything. And you know it's important to keep your wood covered up. So anyway, uh, it's not looking too bad. I'm gonna just give you a quick little tour up here. Now I believe According to the books I'm reading, this little wall is called a purlin. I'm not sure if they're referring to the double beam up there, the double two by six, or the whole entire wall. But I put them up and I, what I did is I ran a board down the entire length of them to make sure that they were level. I only had one. You can still see the board kind of poking up out of the roof there. I only had one that was a little low. And I wasn't real happy with my bird, bird mouth cuts. I just didn't feel like they were substantial enough. So I ran a two by six all the way down the length and then I uh, toenailed everything with the air gun to that 2x6. And I'm telling you, man, that roof is stronger than heck. So my goal for tomorrow is to uh, finish the other side there. I pretty much got it done. And then I want to start on the ridge board. I'm going to put a hang a board off the back of this, probably support something and balance it off of the scaffolding, run my ridge board all the way down. It's got to be an inch or two less than 18 feet. Uh, to meet code and uh, I think it's pretty good. I think things are happening and I'm real, real happy with it. So uh, you're looking at a happy carpenter and uh, here's to you and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.